All right, so we are officially back, guys. As you might have noticed, there hasn't been a lot of content or any content on the channel recently, and that was because I was away at the cottage with my family, and uh, I did get a few very concerned messages from subscribers just asking me if I was doing okay, if I was, you know, still alive, which was <laughs> nice. I guess they missed the post I made a few days ago, but either way, I'm back, I'm good to go, I'm ready for the 350 million download celebration. And in today's video, we're basically gonna quickly go over uh, all of the information that I missed while I was away because there was quite a bit of news that dropped over the past couple of days, okay? So with all that said, let's jump right into it. And the first thing we'll start with is the V-Jump leak from, uh, I believe, oh, yesterday. Okay, so yeah, V-Jump leak from yesterday. Here's the image. We also got the Dragon Ball Legends stuff at the top here. But uh, let's focus on the Dokkan stuff. So there were basically three major reveals, I guess, from this month's V-Jump leak for the upcoming uh, 350 million download celebration. I almost said worldwide celebration because that's just like stuck in my mind now, but this one is going back to the original naming convention. So 350 million downloads is what it's called. And uh, at the top here, we have a new, uh, I think it's called Bulma's Dangerous House Sitting Event or something like that. Either way, the idea is very similar to some of the launch events we've had in the past where you're allowed to clear the event once per day and you get 10 free dragon stones on every clear. And uh, I'm assuming there's gonna be a limit of like seven to 10 runs in total. Cause obviously you can't have it for the entire celebration cause that's too many free stones, but we should be able to get a solid like 70 to a hundred stones from this event alone, which is pretty freaking awesome. And uh, as Goresh said, this event most likely is gonna be based off the time on Namek where Bulma's living in a cave and just trying to figure out how to survive, right? So that's pretty cool. And by the way, in case you guys missed it, in case people are completely out of the loop, the uh, 350 million download celebration is going to be Namek Saga themed, okay? So that is no longer a question, no longer a speculation. It is going to be a Namek themed celebration with two upcoming uh, Namek LRs as well for the Dual Dokkan Fest, okay? So that's the first thing. Now at the bottom left here, you guys can see all of the free to play Ginyu Force members. And what this is telling us is that they're all gonna be getting Extreme Z Awakenings through a new Extreme Z area event for the 350 million download celebration. And uh, I would say this is something that they've needed for a while because obviously when they first came out they were super useful but at this point over time they haven't exactly aged the best right and there's no real reason to run this team over the free to play team bardock so uh yeah i'm definitely interested to see exactly what they do with each member and i don't know if it says here but i'm also curious about whether or not they're gonna give an extreme z awakening to the uh lr ginyu goku but we'll see. Either way, that's number two. Extreme Z Awakenings for the entire free to play uh, Ginyu Force. And finally, at the bottom right here, we have the announcement for a new challenge event called uh, Super Fierce Battle Complete Works, I believe. And apparently, it's going to allow us to experience historic moments in the series from two different perspectives. Now, I don't know exactly what that means. I mean, obviously, based on the image, I'm assuming that we'll be able to also, you know, see things from the villain's perspective, but I don't know how they're gonna pull that off. You know, like, are we gonna fight the villain first and then fight Goku from the villain's perspective or something to that effect? I'm not really sure, but apparently that was the description. So yeah, experience historic moments from two different perspectives. And there seems to also be some kind of limit on like the teams you can bring or at least some conditions you have to fulfill to uh, you know take on the event and uh, once you complete all the stages you can complete a support memory just like the god of destruction event so there you go super fierce battle complete works is an upcoming event for the 350 million download celebration and that is basically everything that we learned from uh, the v jump leak for this month we got the bulma's house hitting event for 10 free stones a day we got the Extreme Z area for the free-to-play Ginyu Force. 
And finally, the Super Fierce Battle uh, Complete Works Challenge Event. So now let's move on to uh, DBZ Space, where we can quickly go over the Countdown Campaign and also the Ticket Banners. So starting with the Countdown Campaign, we've got, of course, a login bonus for some tickets and stones every day. We got the uh, ticket collecting campaign where I believe we have two daily missions to get some additional tickets. And we also have the 350 million downloads dual Dokkan festival. Now this might be a little bit confusing because obviously we're expecting a dual Dokkan fest in about a week from now that has two new summonable LRs. But uh, this year for the tickets, they also decided to give us two different banners as opposed to just one. And I guess the reasoning behind it is that it allows you to kind of target a specific pool of units as opposed to just going all in into one banner, maybe. I don't really know. But either way, both banners can be summoned on with the same tickets. And uh, I guess it just depends on you know which banner has more units you want, right? And uh, we also have the uh, returning campaign, just like the anniversary. The more people come back to the game during this period, the more rewards we get. We also have a uh, Hercules Heart Pounding Gifts login bonus. We have a new story event, which finally will be giving us EX skill orbs. And this was a concept that was originally introduced, I wanna say at least six months ago. And this event will actually allow us to get some now. So that's awesome. And uh, for the rest of the countdown, we have your standard stuff, you know, all Dokkan events available every day. Uh, Extreme Z Battles, all available, 30% uh, off in the Baba Shop, Quadruple Ranky XP. Um, it looks like no reduction in time for the boost feature, but I guess that's fine. So there you go, guys. That is the Countdown Campaign. Now let's pop over to the details for the new story event. And I just want to specifically focus on this EX Skill Orb section. So it says here, EX Skill Orbs exclusive to the Planet Namek Saga category are here. Complete missions to obtain EX skill orbs for gold, silver, and bronze slots. Uh, the EX skill orbs obtained in this event can only be equipped to Planet Namek Saga category characters. In addition, they will not disappear when being replaced. So you can replace them as many times as you want. So that is the main feature of these EX skill orbs compared to regular skill orbs, where when you replace a regular skill orb, it gets destroyed, right? But these ones will, I guess, just go back into your inventory once you replace them. So that's why they're special, right? So uh, there you go. And I think these will start becoming available on the 25th. Or maybe you can get them now? I'm not exactly sure how that works, honestly. But either way, we can get EX skill orbs now. So that's very exciting, okay? And uh, now let's check out these banners. So we got two banners. This is banner A, this is banner B. And I'll quickly show you guys the featured units on each banner. So even though they've split up the pool into two different banners, as you can see, there are still a lot of units, um, a lot of featured units on each banner. Because obviously at this point, we have a lot of um, Dokkan Fest units in the game, right? So this is banner A, and this is banner B. I'm of course not going to go over each and every single unit on each banner because that's going to take too long. But uh, based on what I can see here, I mean, in terms of value, I think Banner B is the better banner because of units like STR Cooler, Tech Ultimate Gohan, uh, this Bardock is still very, very good. The Broly is very, very good and useful for farming purposes. Um, what other highlights do we have here? I mean, this Namek Goku, assuming he gets an easy A, which some people are predicting could be really good, but obviously that's not guaranteed. Um, Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, absolute monster. Uh, who else? Who else? Vegeta is still not bad. Obviously, he has aged quite a bit, you know, over the past couple of years, but he's still very much usable. And uh, Int Janemba, even though he is like one of the original easy A's, still an absolute beast. So. You got a lot of good stuff here, but at the same time, on the other banner, we have guys like Fizz Beerus, who's a beast. We have Int Goku with his Extreme Z Awakening, one of the best TURs in the game now. 
Uh, we have Cooler, who's about to get an Extreme Z Awakening on Global, and it's gonna be insane. Uh, Super Saiyan 4 Goku is already insane. Um, so it's a bit of a tough call. I mean, both banners have really, really good units. I would say Banner B is still the slightly better banner, but I mean, I can't blame anybody for, you know, going for either one. In fact, you know, if you're a newer player, then it's probably a good idea to split your stones or split your uh, tickets rather between both banners, right? Just so you can try to get as many um, Dokkan Fist units as you can. And uh, yeah, that would be my strategy. I mean, for me personally, of course, neither of these banners are honestly that good because uh, I spent a lot of stones and I don't really need any of these guys anymore. I mean, just taking a quick scroll, are there any units that are not rainbowed at this point? Uh, I think I still might need one dupe for him. I need a couple dupes for this guy because he was really hard for me to get. But uh, aside from that, I think everybody else on both banners is rainbowed. But of course, that's just a personal problem. You know, it's really my fault for spending all of those stones when I really didn't have to. So uh, yeah, anyways, those are the banners, guys. And by the way, there are also going to be LRs in the unfeatured pools for both of the banners. So as you can see, we got the you know LR Androids here. We have Tech Broly, Kaelin Khalifla, uh, LR GT Trio, Trunks and Mai, Goku and Frieza, Bardock, and so on and so forth. I believe the newest LRs on both banners is uh, the LR God Coup. I could be wrong, but that's what I heard. So maybe double check that if you want to. But uh, just like always, there are gonna be a lot of LRs, just not the newest ones, okay? And uh, one last thing I'll say is that, like before, we will also be getting those Memorial Dragon Stones based on the number of Dragon Stones that we spend. It's gonna be one Memorial Dragon Stone for every 50 uh, stones that we spent over the last year and then you can exchange those memorial dragon stones either for uh, more summon tickets or specifically for the units that you want and i'm hoping that unlike last year they're going to reduce the price of uh, units you know because i believe it was something like 150 memorial dragon stones for a unit last year which was just absolutely insane so hopefully they learned their lesson they're listening to the community and uh, you know reduce the cost a little bit for those specific units. But I think most people are probably just gonna spend their stones, their Memorial Dragon stones on the tickets, which I think is the best idea. And uh, yeah, that pretty much does it for today's video. As far as I'm aware, this is everything we know so far about the upcoming 350 million download celebration. And of course, you know, over the next couple of days, we're gonna get a stream slash a Doka Now program, which will give us some more official information. But uh, at this point in time, we don't know what the Dual Dokkan Fest is gonna be. We don't know about a lot of other upcoming events like Extreme Z Awakenings for some of the side units and so on and so forth. Obviously, once that information comes out, I'll make sure to keep you guys posted. And either later today or tomorrow, I'll release a full celebration prediction video just to go over what I think we're going to be getting for the uh, you know 350 million download celebration so stay tuned for that but uh, that's it guys that is today's video it's good to be back hopefully you guys didn't miss me too much and uh, stay tuned for a lot a lot of content for this upcoming celebration just like the sixth anniversary Dokkan's about to get pretty crazy so definitely don't go anywhere and uh, as always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here until next time. Hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.